We're doing Lich Week for normal. I'm not doing ranked because I want to do a challenge. Here's the question I want to answer. Can you beat normal Lich without any extra income? So zero income gaining towers, including farms, merchantmen, monkey town, literally anything that gives you bonus cash. I'm kind of curious whether or not it's doable, because Blue Nares is easily doable thanks to, you know, buffs working. But since you can't super buff a tower like a mad, I'm not sure how viable that is to do 2 million damage with, you know, only 200k cash or however much you get up to round 120. So yeah, I don't even know if this challenge is possible, but we are going to give it a shot. So I pick Gwen because Gwen can buff other towers. I cannot pick Open because his wall of trees gains you income. So that's a no-go. Basically what I have in mind is probably a Mad and a Druid buffed army. Like, if I lose enough lives, this Druid army can probably pack a good punch. The thing is, I'm not going to intentionally lose lives, though, because, well, I gotta keep enough lives for the Lich Soul, because I can't really regain lives. Because I was thinking about this challenge before playing it, obviously, and I noticed that all the life-giving abilities, they are tied to income. So, Marketplaces giving lives, that's make that makes money. Chinook ability, that gives money. Spear of the Forest, that gives money, so I literally cannot use any of the three options in the game. I think on top of Mad and Avatar Wrath, I think Attack Zone is a pretty good idea. So I wanna... let me just pre-place the towers. Like this. Oh, beforehand, because I can't make money, I should probably save money by doing Discount Village, which I will do. Because early game's pretty easy. Basically, I want to either double discount or triple discount every tower I buy. That's gonna help me squeeze out, you know, pennies, which is pretty important. Plants for tier 1, good question. I'm thinking just getting my Poplar set up and go from there. I don't want to commit to Tax Zone because I, I need to think about tier 5, basically. What can do an amazing damage against tier 5? Not that Tax Zone sucks against tier 5, but I need good support like a Brittle or a Curve of Moab, which is also very expensive. I don't know how much I can really afford. That's why I need a budget accordingly. Okay, let's just finish this off. Triple Discount and Camel Village. Now we got the maximum cost savings up, so any towers we want to get should be somewhere around this radius, which isn't a lot to... not a lot of room, but I'll find a way. Okay, here is, uh, Tier 1 Lich. Came in pretty quickly. Let's just see how the damage is right now. Well, pretty pitiful. I'm kind of scared about that the uh, Lich Soul is going to take away too many lives. Because apparently they just patched it so that the Lich Soul has way more HP now, especially on normal, which means I'm going to lose a lot of lives, which is, actually, which is actually a good thing, at least initially, just because it'll power up these druids. However, I still need to keep enough lives for tier 4 and 5, don't forget. Otherwise, I will die, because I can't regain lives. So watch here. Okay, it's only one life at a time, it's man shield, so I guess it's not a really big deal. This will take a while to kill, though, again. Again, 1,200 HP, I think, on this guy right here. Tick, tick, tick. Wait, we're not even gonna kill it, are we? Yeah, they buffed this thing in, in the same amount, it's ridiculous. Uh, here are the chain moabs. Again, I could kind of exploit. I think they didn't patch the exploit. Wait, if I don't kill this chain moab, I can just back out of the game. Luckily, I did that time, though. But I don't think we're gonna have enough. Oh, wow, road spikes. Common in clutch, okay. Oh, JK, there's not enough time to beat this now. Let's back out here. Again, if you do not kill a Moab, then he will not spawn any chain balloons, as you see here. Epic exploit, I must say. I think the next skull is gonna spawn a chained or fortified, because, yeah, I think I killed one before. But again, I can reset if it's not beatable. It's just ridiculous, I should say again, how much HP these things have. It's like nearly 2,000, and we're talking normal. Oh, crap. Our save is bricked. Uh, our fortified Moab was already spawned. Coming to 46, so I think I got our reset. Unlucky. Yeah, there's a fortified, so definitely back out here before round 46 starts. Definitely. Oh, crap. No, I don't think it's uh, salvageable, because there's always a fortified Moab on round 45 here. Okay. So I pretty much have to beat this fortified Moab. But then I gotta waste money on garbage. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, I think we're pretty much screwed against this guy. It's pretty close, so we have to just optimize a little bit. I think I have to be in overdrive. If I can afford it, yeah, I can. 
Well, I guess committing to attack zone. I just gotta hope that's enough damage going through the bend. So let's see, let's see. Uh, it's gotta do the maximum damage here. I need to heat it up. Nope. Had a feeling it wasn't good enough. So I repeat, cannot afford to spend money and stuff that I don't plan to get later on in the game. That's why I am dropping these towers that I plan to get. It's just not happening. Yeah, it's not happening. Yeah, I was thinking a cripple sniper, but it'd only be a 3-0. Oh, I do have plans maybe to get a sniper later on. But I don't think I can afford a main mob right now. Let me just see. No, I can only buy Deadly Precision. I would need to restart from round 40. And, you know, not buy Pop Lust to get a main Moab. Are we gonna pop this, actually? With Sniper? No, okay, I'm gonna reset. Main Mob, I think, has to be the choice for this. Alright, so don't buy any upgrades until I can afford a main Moab. That is all. Because, like, I don't think I'm gonna prioritize Brittle over Cripple, because Cripple has full map range. And I don't think I can spend money on a Chinook and a Brittle. That's probably more expensive than, you know, getting the Sniper itself. I don't know if this is going to work still. Let's try and juggle two mobs at once. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So where's the fortified? It, did it come out now? I think it did. Yeah, yeah, these two right here. These are going to be a problem. And in fact, I can't even target it because this Lich Soul is alive still. There we go. Finally. Yeah, let's just watch here. Yep, one left. And there we go. Main mob is our Lord and Savior. So now that we pretty much got... uh. Lich Tier 1 in the bag. I need to think about what to do for Tier 2. Because I don't think I'm going to afford an Avatar Wrath in 12 rounds. And I don't think a Poplist Army would be good enough to beat Tier 2. But I guess you never know. I just got to start losing lives. That's really it. Hopefully, I think I think Tier 2, normal Lich takes like, what, 2 lives at a time? So maybe that will break through my mana shield eventually. You don't think I've thought about Attack Zone. But again, I want to get the strongest stuff first. Which is this. So if I can get away with not buying Attack Zone then that would be tremendous. So we'll just use run one to see how this goes. You know what, actually, I'll just buy this first. One overdrive, but don't buy tax one yet. That already does a crap ton of damage, so it helps out a lot. Let's see if we lose any lives. Definitely taking a beating in our uh, mana shield. Like, based on the progress so far, it looks like we do have enough damage to uh, beat Lich. I think. Let's watch again, carefully. Oh, there's three chain this time. Oh, that's a lot. No, we still, we still got it. Is there any way I can kill this this Lich Soul? My Druids are in the wrong spot. So I don't think I can without buying something. Man, if I don't buy Tax Zone right now, I can afford Avatar Wrath by tier 3. That's the problem. Alright, you know what? Let's just do it. I think we'll just do it, Tax Zone. Frigate. So keep in mind that the tier 3 Lich has about 5 times more HP. I will probably buy a P Mentoring for this thing later, because, I mean, this village doesn't go anywhere else, really. But I'm not sure if that's enough without any other uh, damage increasers. I still have, you know, a Brit I could drop, but... Again, only if absolutely necessary. There's Tier 2. Okay, I'll actually be closer to Avatar Wrath than I think. After 79, I think I'll be, like, 3,000 short. So I technically could afford this in the middle of Tier 3. Looks like we're about 7k short. All right. So, yeah. Can we make 7k from the AI uh, normal rounds to afford this in time? Right now, we're literally right over the Lich, and you see, it's it's so bad. Oh yeah, this one's actually pretty cash money. Look at all those BFBs. Okay. I think Avatar Wrath we can get, like, right now. Nice. Alright. So, wow, we just killed that Lich so really quickly, so I don't think we're losing lives at all. Okay, I gotta find a way to lose lives for uh, Tier 4 or Tier 5. Probably, hopefully by then, uh, this guy won't be strong enough to one-shot it before it loses us lives. Like, the thing with the mat, I can target it away, which is good. Also, this is going to be a very easy tier 3. Look how much damage that does. So, yeah, this will be a very easy kill. Next up is a mad. Okay, I have stats on tier 4 and tier 5 Lich Soul. It's only double HP from tier 3 for tier 4. 14.5k. But tier 5 gets pretty beefy. 47,000. But I mean, this guy can do 47,000 pretty quickly, right? Okay, so I should buy Mad right right now, right? Yes, I should. So, 150. I'm gonna try to lose lives 
on tier 4. Basically, just by, again, moving mana away. And you know what? Charting this on last so it doesn't, you know, focus on the Lich Soul. If there are other Bloons in Radius. So, hit the Skull. Put it away. And let's see how long it takes for us to lose some lives. Oh, that's good. In fact, we're losing too many lives, I think. 10 at a time, holy. 145. Okay. So, our Druids just became 5% stronger. Thanks to that. And now we just rinse and repeat. The thing is, do I want to go all the way down to 50, though? Because that's very risky for tier 5. No, it's not, actually. Is it? I don't know. How many lives does uh, tier 5 take away? That's the biggest question. Okay, it's 17 lives that tier 5 takes away. The thing is, I have to be 100% sure that I can kill each Lich Soul before it takes lives in tier 5. Otherwise, I think going down to 50 is too risky. You think maybe... I would say 75 is a good number. 75 to 100, okay? That's what I'm gonna aim for. Skull? Let's get down to 95 here, please. 95. Beautiful. Okay, now kill it. And I think that's a good enough place to be at for coming into tier 5. So basically at this point, we beat tier 4 and we just save up all the money. I think this defense can survive till 120 and then... That way, I'll have leeway going into uh, the last tier. I might lose lives here. Okay. Even though I tried to Bomb Rush kill it, uh, I still lost 10 lives. I think 85 is okay. So I got about 48,000 to work with. Not a whole lot at all. So I think we just want to start off with, like, the Cripple, my first thought. I'll go for uh, an Embrittlement. And then I'll go for... Uh, uh, Sun Avatar after. If I can afford it, which I cannot. I'll buy this for range on the uh, thing. I'm gonna triple this count Zero Monkey, but it's still a lot of money. 16. Yeah, I can't. I can't even close. What the hell? And in fact, we're actually doing 300k damage pretty quickly. I'm just scared about the Lich Soul. Come on. Bomb Rush Kill. Max two ticks for this one. Max. No more than two ticks. Okay. The thing is, if it's two ticks for the next ones, then I'm kind of screwed. Because I can really only afford one tick. Don't forget, the Avatar is going to get even faster, though. So, uh, that'll help us hopefully kill in one tick. Alright, Skull 2. Let's use Gwen 10. And Bomb Rush Kill, come on. One tick at most. One tick. What? I can't take that. Let's go back. I uh, Let me try dropping an Overdrive over here. I need to kill this quickly, come on. I'll turn it strong because maybe it wasn't hitting the, uh, the Lich Soul. Come on, go, 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 go. Only one tick, guys. That's all I'm allowed. Nice, wow. We just made it that time. Not looking good, yeah, we're not halfway yet. It looked good initially, but yeah, the fact that Avatar Wrath can't reach the entire map is kind of a problem. So, let's go Gwendy, come on, come on. Everything. Put everything into beating it. Oh, wow, we didn't lose any lives that time, okay. I don't think it's happening, though. It's not happening, guys. I might die to Fortified Srams here, yeah, I'm dead. These Fortified Srams, though. I can't lose any lives. I have to use the man ability. Nope. Look how ridiculous Round 124 is. Non-stop Ceramics. Yeah, I now have no abilities to beat. Uh, second last skull here. Well, good luck. I don't want to damage it because I need the Lich Soul to be closer. Come on. I think now is good. There we go. Go, 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 go. Okay, one tick is fine. All right. Now this guy's even faster. He's still not a uh, max attack speed. And I think I'm dead to the last skull because there is no Avatar Wrath close enough. And the. Uh, Main round balloons are gonna kill me. Almost guaranteed. Yeah, rip. Guys, I don't think this is doable. It's pretty close, but the fact that if I was allowed to sell and not heal Lich, I think this challenge would definitely be doable with a bit of virus cell action, but it's just not viable here. Because I can't allow it to gain HP. But this strategy I have just I don't think is enough. Yeah, we're dead right now. Okay, so I'm gonna die here. I'm going to spend one continue to see if there's anything I can improve on. I think really the only best choice is Cripple Overdrive Spam. 
basically the first one except the first attempt except no uh, wasted uh plasma monkey that is all and then just pray we defend uh, the ceramics on 124 i mean watching the damage is overdrive i expect it to do a decent amount of damage like just watch right now it's not bad right it's probably the best for that price i would say see these overdrives that's a lot of damage come on i think this one's one tick yeah, one tick's fine. The next one has to be zero ticks, though. Ah, uh, next goal. Oh, no, this one's too far away. It'll be uh, one tick for sure. I can't get two, though. Oh, nice. Okay, only one's fine. One's fine. This is actually looking really good. Right now, we got a max attack speed on this guy. Next, Lich Soul should be zero lives lost, ideally. Again, be warned, 124 is a rough round, so... Get ready to blow all your abilities right now. Alright, Skull, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, we still lost one. Okay. That means we gotta be the next one. With less than 8 seconds. The next one's, yeah, it's gonna enter the Chokehold, which I like. I just gotta avoid letting Mad damage it. Like, right now, I should probably stop attacking, right? At 350k, I think it, it explodes. Alright. One cycle only. One cycle only. We're dead. <laughs> wow. Okay. So somewhere I gotta I gotta save one cycle. That really sucks. But that actually looks doable. Yeah, let's optimize a little more. I can sell this village because it's not needed. Because there's no villages that are in range of that one, but not in range of others. And with the extra money, I could actually put more tax here. Uh, so you know the drill here. We lose two ticks every time. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do. Alright, Lich Soul number two. This one, I think it's one no matter what. Unless... That's so close that I think I could maybe squeeze out. I don't know how, but... We lost lives the moment it popped. It's not possible, right? Oh, nice, it is. The only downside is that the Avatar Wrath shoots a little bit slower. Is that actually worth it? Also, take a look at the Scout Shooter. 203. 203. Does this much damage already. Alright, next one is one skull no matter what, I think. Or maybe two. Oh, no, only one. Nice. 69 lives. Nice. Okay, next one. It'd actually be good to lose lives because then I could get my Druid to attack a little faster. So that's okay. Okay. My Druid is 2% more from getting uh, max attack speed, but it's okay. Okay, the good news is that I, I can take three. Three ticks. That's huge. That means as long as I beat the Lich, the Lich Soul, then I win. So let's see. Can I do it? Can I do it? Let's target it. Come on. Stuff in the way. We got it. Nice. With one extra tick to spare. Now we just can't die to normal balloons, which I will die to, because this round is annoying. Let's use it now. Come on. Everything. Nice. So, uh, ice towers, right? That was the problem before. So now we just need 300k damage, which is definitely doable. There's a lot of space left, and we will have done it. We will have done what I thought was nearly impossible at one point in the, in the challenge. Yeah, I think we got this. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and done. Bit of length to spare, too. So, yeah. That's what I meant when I said I had to I had to make sure everything I got was necessary for the end. I needed all the money I, I, I could for those overdrives. They came in clutch. And so that answers the question. Lich is definitely doable without getting any extra income, but it's absolutely ridiculous.